Hey, Derek here at 5 Minute Music. I want to talk about two ways your chords will sound amazing. Hammer-ons and pull-offs. You might be thinking, well, aren't those for guitar solos? Well, you can do them with chords too, and they sound amazing. So we're going to get straight into it. Let me just give you a sample. Here's a regular D major chord, and I'll post the chart for you. There's your D major chord. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my second finger right there and that's going to lead to the open E string and I'm going to drop my second finger back to the second fret. So it's basically going E to F sharp. So here it is. So listen to the difference. Here's just your D chord. Now here it is with the hammer on. Instantly it adds this extra flair to it, this, this dimension, this detail. It's just very beautiful. Well, let's see how it does with a pull-off. So, same chord, the D chord. Now I'm gonna start with my fourth, my pinky, my fourth finger down on the third fret. So here it is. Hear that? And it's gonna go. So listen to the difference. There's just your normal D chord, now listen. So that's really nice. So I'm gonna give you a close-up real quick. I'm going to show you the close-up of the hammer-on with the D chord and the pull-off. Now let's see what happens when we combine these hammer-ons and pull-offs in a chord progression. So here's the chord progression. Notice the charts here. Look at the fingering very carefully. So you have the D major chord, the C major chord, and the G major chord. The fingering in this one's a little bit different. I'll take time to mention this one. It's third finger on the third fret of the thick E string, your sixth string. Your second finger is on the second fret of the A string the fifth string, and then your pinky is on the third fret of the first string, the skinny E string. So again, that's D major to C major to G major. Now we're going to add the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. So check this out. In the D chord, make sure you pick up that second finger. You're going to have the open E string, and you're going to drop it down. And then you're going to drop the third finger down and we're going to strum that and do a pull-off from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret. So again, open to the 2nd fret, and then 3rd fret, pull off to the 2nd fret. To the C chord, that's open B string to the 1st fret on the B string, and then 3rd fret on the B string, pulling off back to the 1st fret. So. And then we go down to the G chord, and it's going to be open B string to first fret on the B string, and then strum that and pull off back to the open B string. So all together, back to the D. that's it. That is how you can use hammer-ons and pull-offs, weaving them into a chord progression to breathe new life into it. You will sound amazing, and it's not too hard, and it doesn't take too long to learn, just slow, consistent practice. So there you go. Hey, if you've liked this lesson, I have a giveaway for you. What I'm going to do is, below, if you hit subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications underneath this video, and then go in the description, there's going to be a little link that says, uh, enter here for the giveaway. You're going to click on that. It'll take you to another page. You enter your email address and you're registered. And don't worry, I'm not going to pester you with a ton of emails. All you do, subscribe underneath this video, hit the bell, click the link, enter in your email, and you're good to go. And in two weeks, I'll announce the winner. So thank you for your time. Yeah, so I'd love to see you. Good luck on winning the, the giveaway. I'm looking forward to meeting you on Skype. And hey, thank you for your time. God bless. Have a good day.